start tonight. Hopefully. Um, it's, uh, it's certainly a good time. Um, you know, I, I thought our line has been playing well the last few games, lots of chances. It's nice to, uh, to finally get the reward. Danny, there was a lot of motivating factors going into this one, but I guess none bigger than win and you're in. Yeah, I mean, for us, it's, it's even, even more than that. Um, we're still fighting. We still um, have a chance for home ice, depending what happens in front of us. Um, you never know, but but first and foremost, we, we need to win, especially uh, this home stand, our home game. We need to win those games. Uh, we want to com come in in the playoffs uh, on an upswing, unlike last year. So uh, those are all factors that we're, we've been talking about. We want to make sure we're, uh, we're playing hard, even though uh, we're facing a team that really had uh, nothing much to, to play for. So um, you know, it's a, it was a good, good all-around effort, I thought. A couple of the guys were unaware that Chris Pronger was going to be here tonight. What was your initial reaction? And obviously, it was nice to see some of the Hab players even on the ice banging their sticks during that moment. Yeah. Um, I didn't know he was going to show up uh, for the game. It's nice to see him out um, taking a step, I guess, uh, in the right direction for uh, for him. You saw the reaction of the crowd, too. Um, you know. Uh, there's always that thought that you uh, you wish he was sitting on the bench with us, but uh, you know, first and foremost, we we're happy that he's moving in the right direction and that he's able to uh, to come and enjoy a game here. Power play came in this game, two two goals in his last 20 chances. You got three in your first four. You can see you guys fine. Yeah, it was a, it was definitely a good night for the power play. Um, it's been it's been weird lately too. We uh, it's easy. Games where we we get one or two chances, sometimes we, we get none on the power play. Um, you know, and, and the fact that they had the best penalty kill in uh, in the league, it was nice to to come in, uh, hopefully gain some confidence on him. You don't seem to lose uh, faith there. But that's, uh, so yeah, hey, you know what, and, and it's weird. I, I thought I, I wasn't playing as well earlier, and I, I was scoring. Um, and then, you know, probably the last three weeks, I was playing much better. But uh, the chances were there. I just couldn't finish. Um, I knew at some point it was going to turn. Uh, but the most important part is, is to keep it going, keep going, keep going in the same same direction. I like the way our, our line has been playing the last few games, like I said. So hopefully uh, that, that, that keeps it up to, uh, to give us more power for uh, for the playoffs, another line to support, uh, especially Drew's line. Knowing how tight things are, Wayne said last game, when he's on the bench, he's not shy about it. He looks up to see what's going on. Ottawa came from behind tonight to beat Pittsburgh. What was your, I mean, are, are you, are you one of, do you do that? Yeah, I, I, did, I did look a few times. Obviously, mm -hmm. you're focused on the game, and, uh, but once in a while on the timeouts, I'll, I'll take a peek, uh, see who's winning. I saw that uh, at one point, I saw Toronto was leading, so I was, uh, I, I was I was hoping I would stay that way. Um, no, and it's good to see uh, Ottawa come in and play a good game in Pittsburgh.